My name is Jerry Sturrell. It is two days before Christmas 1997. My annual holidays have just started. The preparations for having the family over for Christmas dinner have already begun. The time is 8.30am. I've just had a shower when the nauseous hit me. I am perspiring. My mind is telling me it's about to switch to survival mode as a crushing pain develops in my chest. I managed to make it down to Susie's bedroom, apologising for waking her up and asking her to phone for an ambulance. This is the day that will change my life. I remember it was early when Dad knocked on my door and asked me to call the ambulance. My reaction was automatic. I called Triple O and now it was my turn to hold Dad's hand and support him. His face was grey and his singlet drenched in sweat as the ambulance drove away. I never felt more helpless in my life. I wanted to go with him, but I had to stay behind to tell my mum the news. Mum was out Christmas shopping. I was in shock, I think. It was hard to deal with that it all happened so quickly. When mum came home and asked that simple question, where's dad? My mouth had trouble forming the words. Mum, I said to her, listen to me carefully. Dad has gone to the hospital, he's had a heart attack. She didn't believe me and ran around the house yelling, Jerry, Jerry, where are you? She thought I was joking, as if. Looking back on that day, I now realise that I was a perfect candidate for a heart attack. A 50 year old male, an ex-smoker who exercised very little and worked long hours. It's funny how you never think about your parents dying until they do. My parents are still alive, but that Christmas, my dad came very close to dying. It's the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. I was born in Holland in 1947, one of five children. We emigrated to Australia in 1954. I grew up in a happy environment, but life changed during the 60s when my mother died of breast cancer the year before I was called up for national service. My dad served in Vietnam as a radio operator. Through boredom and a sense of routine, he took up smoking. He says because they were readily available and cheap. Dad smoked for over 25 years and I remember the first cigarettes I ever smoked were the ones stolen from his packet. It wasn't until about 12 months after the heart attack I had the overwhelming feelings of depression, fear and anxiety. I felt scared, afraid, vulnerable and no longer in control of my life. The inability to turn and run from the fear of dying reopened the thoughts of 30 years ago. The thoughts of, get on with your life, came crashing down on me. Since I had the heart attack, I continue to live with the fear and anxiety of having another attack. But the worst part is that I cannot protect my wife and children from the hurt and worry should it happen again. So as I entered my father's hospital room that Christmas morning, I knew I'd received a special gift that year, the best present of all. My father was alive and he was going to be alright. 